Jaguar haven't exactly been shy about spending money on F1. They got through skip loads of it, and it's only just showing signs of starting to pay off. So how will their cheapest car be? As in F1, the Jag has one of the most powerful engines, so we've got a 2-litre V6 with 157 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in 8.9 seconds. Unlike F1, though, the Jag isn't blighted by any particular handling problems, and that's despite this being the cheapie with just two-wheel drive at the front rather than four-wheel drive in the rest of the X-Type range. This 20 grand X-Type is Jaguar's attempt to get an affordable prestige car onto the sales rep's shopping list. Where it all gets a bit miserable and miserly is kit. This sat-nav with its touchscreen operation is gorgeous. You don't get that, and you don't get the 32 other optional extras fit into this car. In fact, when you strip it back to basics, you don't get much Jag for 20 grand. It's a very good car, the entry-level X-Type, and I like it. And it might be small, but it's enough Jag for anyone. And there's the problem. It's enough Jag. You don't want enough Jag. You want much, much more than enough Jag. There's something for me the rather annoying social climate about a small, cheap Jaguar.